Okay, tests look like it went pretty well. So uh, let's get into the new patch and what is going on. So this one has a whole bunch of stuff, new hair and beard styles is all looking pretty solid. Uh, still haven't decided how much I'm going to change up my character. I might tweak him a little bit. Uh, character DNA, they do have a couple more faces. Uh, tattoos and piercings, they're really limited right now, but of course they're going to be growing over time. New caves. So uh, new caves are kind of cool. Acidic rock caves we've had rock caves since those were the original caves but these are the new ones uh so they'll be in pyro but they've kind of gone back and retrofitted stanton with them um bioluminescent mushrooms i did not get a chance to check that in the ptu so that could be a fun thing to tool around in yawn um zeus and check out hangar spawn logic updates when retrieving ships into newly created personal hangars we now also check for existing vehicles and store them huh also when despying ships uh we wait for a sync response to the vehicle owner query else we'll destroy ships where there's not any received yet this avoids ships clipping into each other after spawning them into non-empty persistent hangars. Hopefully that does mean that we can take vehicles, drive them off to the side, and it only applies to vehicles on the elevator, or that's going to be kind of obnoxious because one of the nice things to do is to call up like a rock or a nursa or something like that, drive it to the side, and then call up the vehicle or the the ship that you're going to be flying around and then just drive it on. Uh, otherwise, we're going to kind of be back to the whole thing of having to take off on our ship and go to like a mining base to spawn up our vehicle, which kind of defeats the purpose. Uh, let's see. Additional location passes. Uh, newly updated skybox. They did tone down the green a little bit. Um, I'm going to give that one a couple months before I decide, because I have a feeling that's one of those that in a couple months, I might not remember that it used to be a bit more realistic. It might help visibility a bit, which is why they put it in. We'll see. Quantum travel polish. We have made adjustments to quantum travel speeds acceleration, fuel storage, use, and prices. And yes, they did screw up with the decimal point on the prices when everybody was freaking out about that. So uh, don't worry, that part's been fixed. But they are going to start bringing that all in line. There just wasn't really a need to to this point. Quantum drives have all been adjusted for fuel use, speed, and acceleration to balance ship travel based on shorter and longer distance arc types. Cool time, cool down times have not been adjusted. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have to play around with those. Like I would assume military ones will accelerate faster and have a higher speed, but use more fuel while Civilian ones will be very economical, but not as fast or as quick to accelerate. Uh, star map UI. Um, oh, that's that's the map, not the star field. Uh, primary marker info panel will now display full information for only the selected marker, which will mean the panel information will never erroneously change when trying to interact with the set route button. I think I was having that problem uh, a couple times, so that's a pretty good fix. Escape key to X is now available on kiosks, terminals, and Moby Glass. Okay, so that's kind of cool. So it won't call up the game menu. It'll exit you out of the kiosk terminal. Okay. You know, we'll have to give that a shot. Uh, all hauling missions 
to have zero reputation change on abandoned. That's good because a lot of those were broken. That will probably be temporary, but yeah. Let's see. Added new ships. <laughs> that there's probably a reason why there is a big space there. We're going to be getting more ships pretty soon. Uh, like in a day, MFD button rebindings uh, or bindings, which is what I'm going to be doing in a couple minutes here. Uh, speed limiter ships and turrets. Speed limiters have moved to left all and mouse wheel as mouse wheel is now used for switching weapon groups. That's interesting. There's currently still a bug where using left alt and mouse wheel does not block the weapon groups changing. Okay. Well, thankfully I don't fly with mouse and keyboard, but if you do, that is that is good to know. Uh wow, that's I don't really need to switch weapon groups, but then again I fly with a Hotas, so I have enough triggers on my joystick i don't need to worry about it um precision targeting and mining mode toggle laser type is left alt and mouse button or left alt and left mouse button okay good to know uh additional ship and vehicle updates uh the atlas is in shops already so that is a really quick turnaround time usually you have to wait a um Usually you have to wait a full patch before it drops in the stores. I think they kind of read the blowback on the $35, I think it was $35 price tag on it. And they just sort of said, uh, yeah, okay, that was a whiff. Uh, Mirai Pulse is out there. That is a fun little bike. Uh, definitely buy in-game, if you ask me. So is the Atlas. And now you can. Uh, Ursa Medivac, the Nursa, is a... <laughs> my my dog is squeaking his toy at me. It is very cute. It's a giant squeaky hedgehog. Uh, ground vehicle emission rebalance. Yeah, Rufus has some opinions about that. Re uh, reduce the A2 and C2 held countermeasures. That's going to make those things a big target. Uh, reduced overall hull and thruster health for the Hornets. They were a bit tanky, so that probably makes sense. I'm not much of a dogfighter, but it sounds like that would make a pretty big difference. Salvage and mining will now function while in nav mode. I don't know. Are, are you keeping the beat, kiddo? Funny dog. I don't know why you would want to na why you would want to mine or salvage while in nav mode because typically you're moving slow. You would want your shields up. I don't know. I don't know. It's an interesting idea. Multi tool and UI updates. The multi tool system has been updated with new behavior to remove use of aim down sights (ADS) while using the tractor beam with two new modes: traversal (left mouse button) and detachment right mouse button okay uh to make the tractor ui more legible and usable with the new non-ads system we've added new indicators to distinguish between traversal and detachment modes and done a full ux update on the interface uh traversal is four hours detachment is a chain link modifier so i wonder what would be moving stuff around guess we'll find out added repair tool ui to show the maximum repairability of a target fps weapons they basically made them all like the s71 which is my favorite ar uh let's see smgs they kind of um they smoothed out the recoil but the time it takes for it to fall back to where you're aiming has been increased so heads up on that if you're a big fan of the smgs most people i know use the uh arc light pistol um is pretty good because it's a burst fire uh the p6lr 
from 200 meters to 550 meters, uh, which of a true 50 caliber, that's not that far, but for in star season, half a kilometer, pretty good. Uh, let's see, added the bearing P8AR rifle mags to shops. That's good because you, <laughs> they, they didn't have the mags in the shops. And so when you shot through your ammo, you were done. Like you got, I think it was 12 shots and that's it. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. Limited use. Uh, render to texture improvements and additional core updates. So uh, that is it. Let's get into the build. And it is a large one, people. So uh, finally made it in. So uh, first step with a new patch. And as always, what do we do when a new patch drops? If we don't like testing and everything, that is right. We wait a week when all the hot fixes go in and everything's working and then it's an enjoyable patch. If you like testing or you have fear of messing out or missing out, jump on in. Uh, I moved my desk around and unplugged all of my peripherals. So I need to go in and Key bind all of my joystick stuff. So uh, come back in a couple. And all set. So the only thing that I always say is anytime there's a new patch, always go into key bindings uh, down here to advanced customization and then make sure all your bindings under your keypad or uh, joysticks or whatever are what you think they are. CIG switches around uh, which key binds do what all the time so this is a good time to kind of go in and check that kind of stuff uh let's see so i have just done that now one of the things and i didn't do it this time click on controls and you'll notice that you have hotos one down here so if you guys use hotos or dual stick or whatever uh make sure that you have the right one so they have all these numbers after them so when you're in advanced and you bind something, let's see what would be a good one. Movement. Of course, it's got to be under this. So this one only has one HOTAS over here. And so how you tell which one is which is when you bind something, it'll tell you like input three, input two, which is new because this right here is my throttle and input six is my throttle for so some reason right now it's reading my throttle as input two and input six, depending on whether it's the base or the throttle itself, that's new. So I might have to do some changes. But one thing you'll do is when you're taking off, if your strafe is reversed or if you're nosing down when you should be nosing up, if you're pitching down instead of pitching up, yeah, you come over here, make sure you select the right joystick and then it is under inversion settings, uh, and I'm on the gamepad, under inversion settings, and then it has movement, flight here, so flight movement, and there you can switch which one is like on or off if you notice it's doing the opposite. So if you're pushing the throttle forward and you're slowing down, or if you have your speed limiter, if you push it forward, speed limiter is the one that it always reverses for me. Like um, I have an extra little lever on my throttle that uh, I use for uh, my speed limiter and when it or it calls it a velocity limiter now, but it always reverses it and I don't know why. So every time I come in here each patch, I have to reverse the polarity of my velocity limiter. But anyway, that's where you do that. So uh, this patch the carnival has voted and we are landing in Lorval. but first i need to make my character now this guy does look exactly like me which is a little bit uncanny but uh i think i will load up this one instead not for any particular reason now, can we do anything 
eventually they will have it like I shave all of this because I'm not a monster. Let's see if they have anything new with beards. That's hair. Here we go. See, I think I'm rocking this one right now. You can't see it, but let's let's scroll through some of the options here. If I really wanted it to look like me, I'd make the beard white because I'm old as balls now. Actually, it looks like the closest one out of the lot, although they do have a ton of new options. <laughs> no. No. Uh, I mean, I could do that. And um, I went way oranger than I actually am uh, because when it's in the game... The lighting in the game is a little bit different from right here. So, I mean, this is like candy corn orange. Uh, and I mean, my my actual beard color when I'm not old is, uh, let's see, let's go with this. So, yeah, they might have changed this up just a hair. So let's go ahead. Not die roots. That's probably a little bit closer to what my hair looked like when I was young. But if we're being honest, <laughs> these days it's more like probably that right there. Uh, what they should do, so there are a few things with the character that uh, I would like to see as improved. Male pattern baldness seems like it would be a good one for him to do, where this would just gradually... Um, where you could apply it and push it up and you could get everything from like completely bald to like a Picard to like a receding hairline, like uh, Michael Jordan or uh, who's somebody, Oh, LeBron James has a receding hairline too, but that would just gradually go back. It sort of seems like CIG could get a lot of free hairstyles just by having that be a control. But anyway, I think that they could do the same thing here rather than having a billion different hair types. Uh, they could just do that instead. So, I mean, instead of having this where you just have that, you just kind of move the male pattern baldness slider and this just gets more and more pronounced and the hairline recedes back and back and back and down and down and down. And then you get a ton of free hairstyles CIG does without having to do anything but have that modifier. Anyway, if I ran the zoo, that is what I would do. So uh, let's see. We do not want that hair color for my hair. That is getting pretty close. Yeah, I am a ginger to what my actual hair color is, but that is closer to me. And no, I don't know why I am wearing eyeshadow. Darken that up a hair. There we go. Definitely me. Looks exactly like me. Uh, at least this character has, uh, has been through some stuff which eventually I will release that web book. Uh, let's see, styling. So we do have a bunch of things in this patch. Obviously, I'm going to go with that. Okay, no, I'm kidding. Uh, although, that could be the new look of the carnival, people. What do you think? Maybe a bit more of the cat eye? Nah. Yeah. Although, I don't know, I could go full pirate on this. But for right now, leave it as is. We do have lips and tattoos. Like, they've got a whole mess of tattoos in this patch. Uh, what's this one? <laughs> That's kind of cool. Uh, I don't know. I'll probably stay away from the tattoos for now. What Another thing that I wish they'd do on this tattoo system is... Um, I think it was MechWarrior Online where you could put decals on your uh, on your mech, but it would drop a decal on there. So say this flower, and then you could scale it, and then you could slide it around the character, or around the mech, and drop it, and it would know where to put it. Again, 
I think CIG is kind of boxing themselves into a corner. And there's probably a reason they're doing that. I mean, their meshes deform, whereas mechs, if they're deforming, they're literally broken. But uh, yeah, being able to do these as decals that you could just drop on there anywhere would be kind of nice. And again, I'm not going with the flowers on the side of my head, although they are kind of cool looking. Uh, you can age them out so they just get faded, which is kind of cool. Although really the way tattoos work is they don't just fade in color. What they actually do is the pockets of ink gradually spread out. And so like, for example, if this were that aged out, it would start smearing out to the point where you couldn't really tell what it is. Just the nature of skin. Um, hue, and change the colors, which is kind of nice. Uh, kind of go through the whole set. Uh, let's look at some of these other tattoos. Of course, they got Pico. A sandworm, which is kind of funny. No, I'm not getting a sandworm. You got, oh, damn, I forget. Wally, is that the name of the whale? <laughs> a little skull. The kind of skull that says, I work in a pizzeria and I'm never going to work anywhere else. That's kind of cool. That's uh, that's one that I might go with, except age it out a lot. Maybe. We'll see. That looks kind of cool. Uh, got a heart. <laughs> Obviously this that says, I was in a band when I was 19 and now I can't get a job anywhere. Sad. It is a cool one. Although if you're still in a band and you have that, it's awesome. Allegedly. Let's see. A little skull there for all the pirates out there. Yeah, they have got some cool ones in here. This one's neat. Rufus has some opinions on that. Kind of the Florida de Lee. It'll be neat when it's uh when it's across the entire body or something you do with like full on Yakuza things. I don't know what that is, but kind of cool. Let's uh, tone the age down so it shows up a little better. Like wings, bat wings or something. Back over here. Let's see what we got here. Mostly, there are a lot of left side dominant ones. Copion. Couple Copion ones. I think this is the Maroc. Yeah, right there. Uh, and we're back full circle. So, yeah, for this patch, I'm not sure if my character will actually have this one forever. I am sure they're going to be rolling out more tattoos eventually, but I kind of like the techie one. So we'll go with that. Sounds good. Uh, earrings and stuff. Let's see. So left ear, or right ear. Uh, of course, I'm doing the left ear right now. You've got tons of options there. Uh, kind of limited to color right now they don't have the hoops or anything like that so you can't go full pirate but those are coming let's see mouth yeah you just kind of got the studs there everything is studs right now uh let's see if we got it right there yeah you got them on both sides do they have them non-symmetrical doesn't look like they have them non-symmetrical just yet eyebrows yeah same thing so they're going symmetrical with them which is interesting uh there aren't any options so but you can go left ear versus right ear and that's fine um but yeah that is it for that so i am gonna save this one again since i have changed it up slightly just it sort of seems like every time they do this they add like one more feature they have added a lot more faces into the game which is nice and since i just saved that i can actually show you some of the faces uh let's see they have like 29 so um let's is there a way to select the entire head there isn't you just gotta trust me i'm running an ultra ultra wide so you can't see it but the whole menu for it is off the screen this way and the rest of the stuff you're used to seeing is off this way uh kind of feel like the whole reason i got this screen was to play um play star season so that is pretty good for me so let's jump in i can skip the tutorial we did say that we were starting in lorval so lorval here comes uh australia i usually start australia just because the time zone i'm in australia tends to be less crowded and the servers tend to be ticking a little bit higher 
uh, on the times that I'm logged in, especially when I'm just trying to set things up. Uh, it just sort of seems like it has fewer issues, although uh, if I know I'm going to be getting into combat or something like that, I will definitely log into uh, local like US servers just because the latency is faster and the speed of light is a thing. And we're in. Got to reset my uh, my what is that track IR? Uh, one of these days I'm going to do another Toby V track IR thing. I kind of want to pick up the new Toby. It's a little bit expensive, but I have thought of a few pro cons that I could throw track IRs away that I kind of missed the first time. Let's go ahead and get dressed. So here we are. We are in the Hurston, which is Lorval, or Lorval is on Hurston. This is the Hab. This is the one that probably has the closest aesthetic for what I'm looking for in the verse, either this or Area 18. If they could have Area 18 ground levels, like down below where all of the ships land, where you're at the street level, that would be amazing. I always kind of like to check in here and see if they've added anything new because they sneak a lot of things in um, that they don't show off in Evocati or uh, or the PTU because they know they work. So they just kind of drop them in later. Uh, let's see, so the coffee maker used to work. Interesting. But anyways, let's get dressed. So you get dressed by coming over here. You can open up your inventory. Well, that is a bulge worthy shot. Um, so you can sort of see what I mean about the color right there, that the color is much darker than it was in the character creator. Just something to consider if you are like aiming for something specific. Terra, there's a chance we hear about Terra. It is not dropping for 4.0. I just want to make that absolutely clear, but a uh, good chance they talk about Terra. Back in the old, old, old days, uh, they had a mock-up level of Terra Prime or whatever that main city is. But anyway, uh, this is your inventory screen, or it used to be, and uh, just to confirm, there is nothing off the screen to the left or the right. You're pretty much seeing it all. I can just see a little bit more. If you actually want to access your gear you have to go in here that's the same that hasn't changed um it is nice that it starts behind you it used to be <laughs> yeah this is how i like to introduce myself to people um it it used to start in the wall and so you get a view of your character through the wall which is a little disconcerting now it starts from behind i'll bet that right there the fact that it's so zoomed in is a function of me using an ultra ultra wide so anyway your your results and here you can sort of see the inventory is off to the right in this case it is defaulting to utility which is interesting so I'm going to lose this and now I can kind of show you if it will let me get I don't really want to see my nipple. This dude is way more ripped, but you can sort of see that the beard is almost black here, whereas on the character generator, it was very much kind of white and ginger. Part of that is the lighting right here. Um, you can still kind of tell they're definitely going to rework the body. Uh, it's a decent body, but it's the same uh, torso, arms, legs and stuff like that that we've had since. Man, like 2.6. So that would be like 2016 or 17. We've been dealing with the same tune down here and there have definitely been some advances in character design and animation since those days. Uh, all in all, pretty good design, but I would expect they're eventually going to make it that the skins will blend into each other and you'll be able to adjust the size of your body. So if you want to do a great big fat boy, you can do that. Um, maybe slight variations in height. They can't go too crazy with that uh, because you do have the metrics on the ships. But right now we do have the size difference between 
uh, male and the female is probably right about here. So they already have height differences on the characters. Banu are going to be like up here. Uh, Jeanne are probably going to be about down here. Jeanne are much smaller. If they ever have Vanduuls as or the Vanduul as NPCs you can hire, which I sure hope we do. I would not mind having like a Commander Wharf on my uh, bridge crew at some point as an NPC. I really this is a highly unpopular opinion. I hope they never make any alien other than Tavarin playable by humans, like actual human beings out in the world playing Star Citizen. Uh, I hope they keep them NPCs so that they can remain alien. Uh, Tavarin makes sense because they integrated into the UEE for a long time. So have I made all of you uncomfortable enough now by seeing me standing around in my boxers? How about this? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's this kind of channel. No, it's not. Uh, so we're going to go in here. We need custom, which is over on the far right, which is super helpful since you can't see that. Uh, you can kind of see this thing populate again. They did make all of the suits. I wonder if they defaulted to try to get them to all fit on one page. Uh, one of the things I wanted to show off was this. This comes with the sitcom patch. I will be giving one of these away. Um... I've got three here and I should only have two. One of them is the one that I'm going to gift during the sitcom live stream, which is coming up in like 14 hours, something like that. Uh, Jesus. Anyways, uh, yeah, this is this is a cool flight suit. So this is the flight suit you're going to have in Squad 42. They did a good job on that thing. Uh, but you can't attach backpacks to it. Uh, I think you can attach... Let's see if you can attach a gun to it. I don't think you can. I mean, I know you can do a pistol, but does it actually take... Oh, it does actually take a assault rifle. So that's, that's good to know. Uh, I wonder if I have my P8 in here. I should. Probably be near the end. Doot, doot, doot. Yep, there it is. P8 right there. That is a cool looking gun. Yeah, what the hell? I'll rock that one for this uh, this playthrough. Um, so let's go ahead and outfit our dude here. Well, actually, now I'm curious because it wasn't letting me put that on there before. So now I'm wondering. No. So backpack will not go on that. Uh, so let's isolate this down. It did keep my loot, apparently. So all the armor and stuff that I looted is still in here. Let's check helmets, because we will have the Squadron 42 helmet in here. At least we should. There it is. So that right there is how you're going to be decked out in Squadron 42, which is pretty sweet. So let's take that off. Right now, I do want utility. Let's see if we can take two utility items, because usually what I do is... Nope, this flight suit only takes one, so that is something to keep in mind that... I mean, I guess you could take... Come on, let me let me select it. What if I go from this side? Eh. There we go. Uh is something to keep in mind. So I'll just bring a multi-tool since there is a health version of that. Put the tractor beam on there. How much room do we have? Actually a fair amount of room on our actual tune itself. So this is the medical one. I'm going to pack one of those. This is the cutter. Let me split that open right there. So that I'm not bringing... Oh, that's actually the miner, not the cutter. Where's the cutter? Cutter's the gray one. Oh, do I not have a cutter in here? Got plenty of tractor beams, which makes sense. How many med pens? We can carry two med pens. So actually, this military flight suit is more like an actual flight suit that... Uh, actual person in the Air Force, the Navy might have. Uh, not not a lot of utility room on it. Did I pull the gun? Or did it just 
beam off into nowhere. I'll have to check that in a second. Uh, but anyway, I'll have to pick up a cutter, although you can't do anything with them. Let's see if these guys can go. So that's the big salvage gun. You can pack those in. So, I mean, you could conceivably pack the tractor beam. Um, interesting. Okay. Well, that is the suit that you get through, uh, through the Sitcon package. Uh, so let's go ahead and take this off. All right, we seem to be on a slightly better server now. So, uh, yeah, when you're in Lorval, and I'm assuming Area 18, stand back a ways from the rail line because apparently the train is killing people. So, uh, yeah, here we go. So we'll try this. See if it still does its 180 flip. This is something that I contributed on several tickets to, but doesn't seem like it fixed. Yep, there it goes, 180 flip. So when it flips 180 like that, you, you could barely catch it. Keep in mind that it's traveling the direction that when I got on the train, my back was facing. So in like a millisecond, it flips 180 and goes. If you're standing on the platform, when the train does that, it can knock you onto the rails or grab you and put you in the train or do any number of things. So that's why I was standing way back until the doors open. Just be aware. Uh, I did not test this in Area 18, but I know it's something that's happened in Lorval for the entirety of the 324 and I think 323 patches. Let's go look at the Zeus. So the question is, do we grab the CL or do we grab the ES? I kind of want to grab... We can do more with the CL, just given the size of the cargo space. But the ES is prettier as far as like the internals go. Uh, since we're going to be dropping with the carnies later, I'm going to go ahead and get the CL delivered up. Get that out of there. OK, and now we can fix it up. So we go vehicles. Of course, my big ass list of ships, which will I do a bunch of melts and buy something big this year at IAE or SITCON? I don't know, maybe. So let's see, we've got a tractor beam on this thing. Of course, it's been doing this too, where it doesn't show up, but usually by the time you start slapping liveries on it, it does. This is interesting, I don't have the um, I don't have the special skin. Interesting. Anyway, yellow is the cargo color, so we'll go with that. See if any of my jump drives persisted. No, did any of my coolers? Uh, some of them did. Um, yeah, let's go with military coolers here. I don't really care about being stealthy right now. Uh, Quadracell is military. Quantum drive. Yeah, let's go XL1. Shield generators. I don't want to go military. We'll go stealth on this just so that I'm not... There'll be other ships that I want to use the military on. Uh, let's unequip these because I got rattlers and they are the ones that I prefer. There they are. It is kind of weird that it won't let you mix and match missiles on a rack. So uh, once I put, you can see right now I have the option of all four of these missiles, but the second I select rattlers, the other ones have to be rattlers. Like there is no option to mix and match. Uh, I'm sure there's a reason for it. So here we go. I've slapped the yellow skin on it. Uh, that again, Carnies um, are cargo movers, are generally yellow. You don't have to conform to the color codes, but you also don't not have to if you want to. Wow, that is like a vibrant yellow. Uh, not going to be sneaking up on anyone with that. Uh, let's see. Now, the question is... Do I want to call up a ship? I think... 
I'll play that by ear. We'll sort of see what the carnies are up to. So, on the CL, we have a bigger cargo hold. On the ES, this section right here, I believe, is cut off. And this section right here comes back to here, I think. So, is a little larger. Again, rule number one, even in your own hangar, make sure you close the door behind you. Again, we've got fire suppression there. I think we got a weapon rack over here. Is that right? Let's take a look. Yeah, you got a weapon rack right here, which might not be a terrible idea to stock that up. But again, I'll kind of see what people are up for doing tonight. Uh, just a very laid out ship. They finally figured out that uh, luxury and ships. I mean, this feels cramped, but that's the way it should be. Space is at a premium. Uh, these lockers, you can access your inventory here. So I could dump like water and stuff like that in there if I wanted to. Uh, for right now, I am not just because, again, I don't fully trust the server uh, beds there. You've got three beds for people to log out in. You'll forgive me if I don't get in the bathroom and shut the door in Ivacati. Uh, the door wasn't opening from the inside, so it's a little bit more risky. But right now we don't have hygiene in the game anyway, so... Uh, it just looks pretty. That will be important one day. You'll need to make your poops in there so you don't go boom, boom in your pants. Got our little eating table here. Don't get any big plates, uh, places to store stuff. You know. Yeah, I don't want things rattling around. I was debating putting the drinks in there just to kind of store them. But yeah, I, I don't I don't want them rattling around and damaging the ship, which they can do. Not uh, not sure if that's fixed in this patch or not, but possibly. So let's go up to the bridge. Yeah, this is all of the components. Engineering panel is right here, which is super cool. But you can see it says coming soon. Not getting it yet. And again, you can either hit escape or just back away from it and it'll go. Uh, this is the ladder to the outside, which is really nice. I wish the um, really wish the MSR had that would be nice, but it does not. And here's an airlock to the outside um, on any modern ship. Now you're going to get airlocks uh, because there has to be a way to board your ship or board other ships. Suit lockers, not in the game yet, but we'll get it eventually. Uh, let's take off. Oh, and one thing I want to say about this ship is, at least when I was flying it around in the PTU, uh, the maneuverability is definitely going to get nerfed on this thing. People are all like, no, it flies as well as a Hornet. Yeah, that's the problem. It's, it's contemporary with like the freelancer it should not be as maneuverable as a medium fighter so when they nerf this thing's maneuverability people need to not be upset and say it was a bait and switch they always do this they always put it in the game and then they kind of say oh wait a minute no this thing is way more powerful than we intended uh i think they've done it with every single game like this uh let's see we've got the new thing right here you can sort of see how that dial is moving that is the mouse wheel so i'm holding down f with the mouse and it changes the range of the radar it's pretty cool we've got the new mfds again you can switch through which mfd it is by just holding down f and clicking on it uh let's see i don't want target i want self there we go let's get started and this was something else it was doing in the PTU too. 
There we go. Now are we getting lights back there? Now we're getting lights back there. Okay. Let's take off. Uh, it was acting like it was on, but it wasn't actually on. Uh, one good thing about head tracking is that I can actually look around the corner here and see that it's open. Uh, last time I was in the PTU, it wasn't actually opening that door. Of course, I couldn't show it because it was, uh, it was Ivacati at that point. We're not allowed to show videos, but I did contribute to a ticket on that. So there we go. We're all open. Let's get out of here. I'm just going to go up to Everest Harbor, which is the Leo ship and call it good. OK, that right there, uh, when I was talking about how I moved my stuff around and it changed the orientation, it did it again. So now I have to go into my settings and flip that so that when I strafe up, it actually strafes up because right now I'm pushing down full. But uh, so, yeah, if you're not lifting off and you've bound everything, mostly it's just going into settings, making sure it's there. OK, let's put our gear up, make sure I got that right. There we go. And we're up. So that speed right there of turning is a massive advantage and is considerably faster than like the freelancer turns or anything that's going to get nerfed promise you that'll get nerfed uh looks like they redid the rain on the window those used to be gigantic drops looked really out of place uh looks pretty good now let's switch to nav mode there we go that's all working we got new icons apparently now let's see believe that is Everest right there. Yeah, maneuverability on this thing is way too good. It is definitely going to get nipped. So don't fall in love with that, but definitely take advantage of it while you can. And again, pulling in here, switch to SCM mode so that your shields come back up. Especially early in the patch when people are feeling trolly. Interesting, I can't shoot. Oh, might have to check that. That might be another key binding that got flipped on me. Yep, and it did my speed limiter is opposite again. So I need to switch the inversion or I need to invert my speed limiter and my strafe up and down, which is pretty typical. What about speed up and down? Nope, that's fine. Entering combat zone. It is interesting. It is not letting me shoot. Did it actually put the guns on there? Nope, the guns are there, but did not switch them. Those are Amis guys. Huh? Interesting. All right, there we go. Uh, usually what I do first thing out in a patch, especially the, the, the fresh patch, like when it first drops, um, I try to move up to the station for whatever reason. You usually have fewer issues on the station than you do anywhere else. Um, better frames, everything else. So it's easier to stage from the station. Unfortunately, all your stuff will be at the uh, at your home location. So all my stuff is at Lorval, but uh, man, the visibility is good in this thing. This is a nice ship. Even even when they nerf the maneuverability, this is still going to be a very good ship. Will it replace the C1 as my go to C? Oh God, no. Thing is that this has happened to me in so many patches, I'm used to adjusting on the fly, but it's still annoying when it happens. Am I still moving forward? No, I'm not. I'm good. All right, down we go. Slow down air. 
Alright gang, see you in the verse and see you for sitcom.